Ogilvy Raceway in Ogilvy, Minnesota. He sets to the inside of Corey Mater on row number one. Your 2020 Grant Younghands Rookie of the Year on the inside of the second row. And Terry Phillips, the quickest qualifier for Simpson Performance Products. Heat race number one lining up in the fourth spot as we're set to go here in your opening heat race here for the USMTS Modifieds. Field going to hustle through turns one and two. The 60 of Dan Ebert will jump out atop the heap down the back straightaway. Corey Mater going to file into the second place spot. Tanner Mullins, here comes Terry Phillips down the inside. Race for third. Working off a of turn number four. Lap number one. Lap one of the books were side by side for the third place spot. Not for long. Terry Phillips going to muscle by the 0-2 of Tanner Mullins. Now he's off the banking down the back straightaway. Hold on, TP. It's the car back beneath him. Mullins back alongside the 75. As out in front, Dan Ebert leads. Corey Mater in second. Still side by side for the third place spot. Who turns one and two. Harry Phillips working the outside of the racetrack. Gets a big run. He'll pull away from the 0-2 of Mullins. Corey Mater slips up in that second place spot. Terry Phillips right in his wheel tracks as they wrestle the cars off of turn number four. Dan Ebert out in front in car 60. Ebert looking good here in Simpson Performance Products. Heat race number one. Coming around to see the cross flags this time by four in, four to go in your opening heat race. It's all Ebert. Second run, Mater, third. It's Phillips, fourth is Mullins. Top five rounds out with Jason Good. And Jason Good rounding out your top five runners as off of turn number four. Laps clicking away here in Simpson Performance Product Heat Race number one. Phil beginning to stretch out here in the final few laps of this one. We'll have two to go this time by Dan Ebert on top. Corey Mater in second. Terry Phillips, Tanner Mullins, Jason Good. Still the top five on this one. On the back straightaway, Ebert with a sizable lead now over the 55 of Corey Mater. Phillips just riding in that third place spot as the white flag waves out in front. One more lap to go. Aaron Simpson performance by two race number one. Working the final lap of Simpson Performance Products Heat Race number one into turn number three out of turn number four. Lakeshore, Minnesota's Dan Ebert wins your opening heat race. So your top of three finishers in that one. Terry Phillips grabs the final podium spot. Corey Mater takes second, your heat race winner. He's out of Lakeshore, Minnesota, that Collins Brothers towing of St. Cloud and Arctic Cat number 60. How about it for Dan Ebert, your winner in Simpson Performance Products, heat race number one. Lucas Lee to his outside. Again, Amada and Hughes on row two. Scott and Fuquay on row number three. Clark and Erickson row four. And Hager. Shotgun on the field here for your second of four USMTS modified heat races at the Rapid Rumble presented by Real Racing Wheels. Into three, out of four, to the green flag, Bashafts heat race number two underway here at Rapid Speedway. Bill will work through turns one and two. Uh, Lucas Lee will show the way down the back straightaway. Lucas Lee going to come by to lead the opening circuit of this one. Everybody trying to find the best line to work around the lightning fast rapid speedway. Trevor Anderson slides up the banking. Jason Hughes is going to slip beneath the 20 car down the back straightaway. Shows his nose to Anderson down into turns three and four. Anderson a little bit sideways. Hughes right there behind him as they work off the turn number four. Connie Scott up in the fourth place spot. Carlos Amato Jr. back in fifth. Anderson going to upset the car once again in turn number two. Gets it back beneath him in time to drive away from the 12 of Hughes. Hughes being sized up by the 1ST of Johnny Scott as well. Side by side for third. Scott trying to slip out of the 12 car and do it in the turns one and two. Those two going to go door to door for the third place spot. Johnny Scott with a drive along the bottom. Hughes nearly slips off the banking down the back straightaway. Johnny Scott now into the top three behind the 20 of Trevor Anderson as Lucas Lee comes around across the top four in. Four to go in fast chassis race number two. Halfway through fast chassis race number two, Johnny Scott 
Slides up the banking down the back straight away for a moment. Scrub some speed. And now Jason Hughes is back on the deck lid of the 1ST. Keeps an eye on the 12 Hughes as he tries to roll back into the top three. Car going to tighten up a bit that time through turns one and two. He'll lose a couple car lengths down the back straight away to the 1ST. Carlos Amata Jr. rounding out your top five runners here with two laps to go as Lucas Lee is setting sail out in front. Lucas Lee checked out in this one, nearly a full straightaway advantage over Trevor Anderson. Johnny Scott trying to go to work on the 20. Jason Hughes, Carlos Amata Jr. still the top five as the white flag comes to the air. One more lap to go here in Fast Shafts at race number two. Turn number three out of turn number four. Checkers in the air for Lucas Lee out of Paris, Tennessee. Your winner in fast ass heat race number two. The rest of the field going to cross under the checkered flag. Your top three finishers in that one from outside of the invert. Johnny Scott rolls up into the top three. Second goes to Trevor Anderson and your heat race winner out of Paris, Tennessee. That tank lining of Paris Hughes Racing Chassis, Lucas Lee Motorsports number 12. Lucas Lee, your winner in Fast Shafts heat race number two. And Jesse Glenn's to his outside, one of the Grant Young Hands Rookie of the Year contenders. Makes up your front two rows, Dustin Sorensen. We mentioned one over Easter weekend at the Hamilton County Speedway in Webster City, Iowa, in that 19 car. So Sorensen has been to victory lane once this season with the USMTS. Lines up on the inside of the third row as we tighten them up through turns three and four. Edelbrock, heat race number three, coming to green. Eight laps the distance as we're green here in heat race number three. Three wide just outside of your top three. Look out, Jesse Glenn is going to run out of room down the back straight away. Caution flag going to come to the air. Jesse Glenn's up and over the banking. And as you could see, Lance Mari was waving out the window when he came down the front straight away, calling his own foul there on the 89X of Glenn's, it looks like. In Edelbrock, heat race number three, eight laps the distance, third of four heat races here tonight. Looking for the top 12 in passing points to go to the A main, top eight redraw for the Seabisma Graphics Pole Award tonight. 40 lap, 10,000 to win, Summit Racing Equipment, A main, fueled by Casey's and presented by Real Racing Wheels. Try number two here for Edelbrock, heat race number three. Green flag comes here and we're back in the way. Lucas Shot going to jump out in the lead off of turn number two. Will Krupp going to stay right within reach of the 69. Look at Dustin Sorensen getting racy there. He'll work down to the inside of Jesse Glenn's. We're side by side for the lead out in front. Shot with the advantage of the line. Will Krupp's going to play a factor, though. Giddy up down on the inside goes the K-19. Takes a look to the inside of the 69. Lucas Shot shot with the drive to pull back away from the 69 as Jesse Glenn's. Off the back straightaway once again. He'll drop to the tail of the field. And this one didn't have any help that time. But nonetheless, he'll drop wholesale spots in the 89X. Out in front, Lucas shot with about a three-car length advantage over the 19 of Will Krupp. Another five or six car lengths back to 21 of Jacob Lease back in third. As Dustin Sorensen rounds out the top four. Tyler Wolf is into the top five as we get spread out early here. And Edelbrock heat race number three. Cross flags in the air this time by four in, four to go. Edelbrock heat race number three. At the command, a cool hand loop. Trouble down in turn at number four. Caution gonna come out for Lance Mari. Exactly halfway through Edelbrock heat race number three. The caution comes out for the 19 SB of Lance Mari. Of the second row is Sorensen and Wolf for the top five here at the midway point. Then it's Thompson and Glenn's the rest of the field. As Lucas Schott will have control of this restart. Four laps in and four to go in Edelbrock Heat race number three as we'll quickly get back to it. Green flag in the air. Dustin Sorensen going to drive deep down to the inside of the 21 of Jacob Lees to challenge for third off of turn number two. Sorensen was driving deep to the hub of the racetrack. He'll stay committed to the bottom and turns three and four. And he will work by the 21 of Jacob Lee. Puts Sorensen in the third. 
power move out of the 19 to work by the 21 of Lees. See if he can put Wilker up in the crosshairs now as Jacob Lees pulls back to the back bumper of the 19 down the back straightaway. Out in front, two laps to go. Lucas shot on top in 69. Second runs Wilker up third. Continues to be Sorensen at Belize in fourth. And now Jesse Glenn's is recovered into the top five as Tyler Wolf and Cody Thompson around out the running order of this one. White flag in the air. And one lap to go in Edelbrock Heat race number three. So we will work the final circuit here of Edelbrock Heat race number three. Lucas shot just under a half a straightaway advantage here on the final lap. And we'll work through turns three and four one more time to the checkered flag. Cool hand Luke picks up the heat race win. Luke has shot your winner of Edel Brock heat race number three. Checkers out over the field. Dustin Sorensen picks up a couple spots in that one. He drives up into the third place spot. Second goes to Will Krupp and your heat race winner out of Chatfield, Minnesota. That shot's hardwood floors, Big Cat Transportation. MB Customs number 69, Cool Hand. Lucas Shot, your winner in Edelbrock, heat race number three. Brandon Givens to his outside, Nick Schmidt, and Brooks Strength, eight cars, eight laps, MSD heat race number four, final heat of the night. Here for the Summit Racing Equipment, United States Modified Touring Series of Fuel to buy Casey's. Jake O'Neill and Tyler Davis on row number one, ready to get to it off of turn number four, MSD. Heat race number four to the green. <laughs> Top four gonna quickly break away from the rest of the field. Derek Ramirez though, way up the banking down the back straightaway. He will slip from the grip right now of that top three as off of turn number four. And in the turns one and two, Jake O'Neill scored your leader on the opening lap of that one. It's O'Neill on top, Davis in second down the back straightaway, but keep an eye on the 20 of Sanders. Sanders going to work the outside now, crosses to the inside of the 65 of Tyler Davis. What a move out of the rocket. Down the first straightaway side by side in the turns one and two. They'll dispose of the 65 in the turns one and two. Davis will slide up the racetrack. That's going to allow the 20 of Sanders to secure the runner-up spot into turns three and four. See if he can use that clean air now to chase down the zero of O'Neill. It's O'Neill, your leader. Second is Sanders. Third is Davis. Fourth, Ramirez. And fifth, Vanderbeek. String, Gibbons, and Schmidt, the remaining running order, already halfway through. MSD heat race number four. Four in, four to go. It's all Jake O'Neill leading out in front. Now trouble for Zach Vanderbeek down the front straightaway. Not sure where he is going to be able to pull that car into the infield at it. It is awfully muddy along the inside of turns one and two. And the caution will come out. So the 33Z of Zach Vanderbeek rolls to a halt in turn number one. Unfortunately, just nowhere to wave that 33Z into the infield. With all the rain here the past few days, it is too soupy along the inside of the racetrack to get that 33Z cleared and into the infield. So we will get a wrecker and or push truck to tend to the 33Z of Zach Vanderbeek in turn number one. Certainly invite you out to those two shows as well. And again, live coverage on Racing Dirt if you can't be at Park Jeff or Webster City either. Looks like Vanderbeek will be cleared from the racetrack over in turn number four, and we will be able to drop the green flag on this one. Four in, four to go. Here MSG race number four. Final heat here for the USMTS Modified. Brooks Strength going to come to life into the top four, but he's going to drive off the banking down the back straightaway. The triple four had a good drive. Ran out of room, and Brandon Givens will go scooting by the triple four. Out in front. The zero of Jake O'Neill continues to lead. Tyler Davis beginning to pressure the 20 of Rodney Sanders trying to reclaim the second spot down the back straightaway. Derek Ramirez in fourth. Brooks Strength trying to drive by Brandon Gibbons in the fifth here with two laps to go. So just two laps to go. Jake O'Neill leads just under a half a straightaway over the 20 of Sanders. Tyler Davis, Derek Ramirez, Brooks Strength, the top five, white flag in the air, and one lap to go. (laughs) 
Down the back straight away for the final time here in your final USMTS Modified Heat Race of the Night. Off of turn number four, Tucson, Arizona's Jake O'Neill wins MSD Heat Race number four. So checkers out on your final heat race. Derek Ramirez just outside of those top three finishes in fourth. Third goes to Tyler Davis. Second, that one to Rodney Sanders. And your heat race winner, it's an LG2 race car with a Cornet Lightning engine under the hood, the Red Eye Radiator, McCartney Welding Services, Mesilla Valley Transportation, and Rancho Milagro Racing Zero. Tucson, Arizona's Jake O'Neill, your winner in MSD heat race number four. Just like that, four heat races.